What's going on everybody? It is your boy Tim back with another video and the more observant ones among you will notice that it no longer looks like I'm in Denver, Colorado. And that's for good reason. The last time we left off on the journey, um, I was in Denver, Aurora area of Colorado. I was trying to find an apartment. I was trying to establish a home base, but that didn't work out. Denver's just too expensive. Um, I realized it was just like too big a city. Um, it was too many hoops to jump through to get an apartment. I, I just couldn't do it. I was getting frustrated. I was getting aggravated. And when that happens, it's usually time to hit the road. So I hopped on the road and I ended up in Santa Fe, New Mexico. So I am out in the woods here hiking just outside of Santa Fe, New Mexico. I think this is like St. John's Trail. And I got to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this hiking hits a little different when you're in the desert. Okay. Okay. Hiking hits a little different when you going uphill in the desert. I ain't seen a drop of water since I've been out here. I went over a bridge earlier. No water. Riverbed. No water. It's crazy. It's crazy. But it definitely, I definitely could tell the difference between hiking here, hiking in other parts of the country. But I'm so happy I got to go on a hike today. Um, it, this is the third spot. Okay. I'm not, I'm not too thrilled with, with, with the hiking in New Mexico. Uh, last time I came through New Mexico, I went through Albuquerque, um, did not like Albuquerque, could not find anywhere to hike in Albuquerque where I felt comfortable leaving my car. I saw some trailheads, uh, but when there's graffiti all over the trailhead, probably not going to park my car there. Uh, people told me that, you know, don't write all of New Mexico off. You should try Santa Fe. So here I am. I'm in Santa Fe, uh, just passing through actually, rented an Airbnb for like two nights. Um, it is a super nice Airbnb. I will definitely put some uh, footage, some pictures, some videos of the Airbnb I'm staying in. If they let me, I'll put the link in the description box. But if you're ever in this area, highly recommend the Airbnb I'm staying in. But uh, yeah, I, want, I try to hike in every state I go to. So the fact that last time I was in New Mexico, I didn't get to hike kind of bummed me out. So I was like, today I'm going to hike. Today I'm going to hike. Tomorrow we're hitting the road again. Um, and so it took three. This is the third hike. The first two I came to, uh, one, there was no parking. There was literally no parking. And it was kind of in a neighborhood, so you couldn't just pull up and park. The second one, I couldn't even find the trailhead, let alone the parking lot. Um, so this is the third one. I found it. We're out here hiking. Uh, early in the day, we went into town and just saw some of the historic areas of Santa Fe, just enjoying the architecture. I love the architecture uh, out here. I love it, love it, love it. I love the architecture out here. Um, I could just drive around all day looking at the architecture. So folks, I had some technical difficulties out there filming on the trail. It got super windy. A lot of people started coming by. So we're going to finish up the video here in my Airbnb. But I just wanted to say, folks, um, I'm very impressed with Santa Fe. Like I said, I just came here kind of on a whim. People recommended it. Thank you for everyone who recommended it. I will definitely have to come back, spend some more time here. I um, want to spend some more time downtown. There's a lot of hikes um, that I didn't know about. I was talking with my Airbnb host. They told me about just lots of cool, fun things to do here in Santa Fe. I did not know New Mexico got down like this. Okay, and I don't think a lot of people do. Uh, and the vibe here is great. When, you know, you go somewhere and you can just tell kind of like it just has a special vibe. I would have never thought that Santa Fe, New Mexico would have a special vibe, but it does. So I'm definitely going to come back. So many things I want to do. Um, there's a big art scene here. Apparently like one of the biggest art scenes in the country. You know, I, I think it's what is it called? Canyon Road. Um has literally probably hundreds of art galleries. I want to tap into that. Um, there's a lot of like Native American um, sites I want to go visit. So I'll definitely be coming back to Santa Fe. I'm kind of mad at myself that I only booked like a couple nights here, you know, but yeah, I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know. It's not my fault. It's Santa Fe's fault. You should put it out there. <laughs> That's one of the things I love about travel is that you can discover places that you never knew anything about and also realize they're pretty special places. Okay. And, and, you know, uh, there are a lot of places like this in the United States. Okay. And I, and I'm on a mission to discover them all and share them with y'all and let y'all know. So if you want somewhere to go, you know, winter time's coming, 
a lot of people like me, you know, don't want another, you know, Montana winter, Colorado winter. If you're from somewhere up north, you want to get away for a little bit. It does snow down here a little bit, but if you want to get away, it's still hot down here. I've been looking at the forecast. It's not scheduled to, to, to have any cold spells or, 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 or winter temperatures for a while. This winter, you want to get away, come down to New Mexico. And when you go back home, you'll have like the best vacation stories because ain't nobody you know been here. <laughs> Your friends won't even believe you've been here. But seriously, folks, yeah, man, I'm, um, I'm so happy. I stopped in Santa Fe, definitely want to come back. Right now, real quick though, I got to show y'all a little bit more of this Airbnb. It's beautiful. It's literally got everything like you need to have a great stay. Oh man. We just, we're just gonna peek outside real quick. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Boom. Look at this, fully stocked, look at this. Look at this, plates, bowls, silverware, Cheerios. Nice couch. You see, two suitcase, Timmy, you see it, you see it. Microwave, fridge, fridge stocked with all kinds of goodies. Y'all can tell the stuff is mine. A couple teas and some Chinese food. Everything else is already in there. Very, very comfortable bed. Very comfortable bed. Got an electric blanket on it. Does get a little chilly at night, so I cranked up the electric blanket. Ooh, I honestly think I'm gonna start sleeping with an electric blanket from now on. You know, cause like my toes and, and you know my my hands always get always get cold at night. Um, last night did not happen. Solved that problem. Got a to got a microwave and a toaster oven and a toaster. Come on, folks. Oh, I, I got to give you all this real quick. You know, you see the Prius. All right, just over there doing a little editing. Washer and dryer, beautiful bathroom, beautiful bathroom. Oh, look at this, look at this, peep this. Mm, fancy and the massager. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, came with body wash, everything. All the towels you need. Just, yeah, this, this is, um, this was really a good find. Oh, let me get, let me get in frame. This was really a good find. Um, I think it was only like $88 a night or something like that. Way better than hotel. The hosts are great people. We sit outside and talk for probably like two hours. One of the things I'm learning about Airbnb, cause this is the first one I've ever stayed in. Um, y'all know me on vacation. I'm very like, you know, to myself. I don't really talk to people. I got to change that. I gotta change that. Um, just today, just being this Airbnb and, and, and talking with the host and learning about Santa Fe and talking about the world just made me realize that's a big part of travel too. And I think that was a part of travel I've been missing out on. So I'm, I'm gonna try to change that. Santa Fe, New Mexico has taught me something. And that's the beauty of travel, like you always learn something. So anyway, folks, I got a little, little subway I gotta eat. I went to the Dollar Tree and I got a bunch of this pH balance water for <laughs> for a dollar a piece so I can rehydrate. Uh, yeah, this was just a quick video. Tell you where I'm at. Um, show you some of the sites. Let you know the journey is continuing. Talk to you later. Meatball. I got a meatball sub. Foot long. <laughs>